Nope, you don't have to stick around. Nicole's my best friend, too. I'm happy to be here. Jake Owen, up, what's Dave? going on, my man? Hey, man, how are you? I'm great. And I have something I want to tell you before we get started talking about this amazing film. I have seen you at Rodeo Houston. Yay! Yeah. What's it like to be on that stage inside a gigantic stadium like that? Uh, it's incredible. It really is, especially not being a Texas guy. You know, like I, I grew up in Florida and I, and I love Texas music. I love Texas country. A lot of the artists that have come out of Texas. But being a guy that's not from there, not, maybe a lot of artists won't tell you this, but you, it adds a bit of pressure coming from, and, and just being able to stand there inside that, that big, big, just incredible stadium and on a set stage that spins and you can see everybody and they're appreciating the music. It's really validating. It feels really good. And, and I'm always thankful to come to Texas and play. You, uh, you, you always do a great job. And I know you've played a couple of times at Rodeo Houston, but my mom, we were watching this movie together. She's like, didn't we go see him at Rodeo Houston? I said, yes, we did, mom. So uh, there you go. Hey, man, first acting role. Dude, round of applause. Thanks a lot. Um, what, what, how, what inspired you to, to pursue acting now? Um, well, I, the opportunity popped up, and I, I always like jumping at things that, that seem – um, interesting and kind of challenged me. And I was definitely challenged by this, by this opportunity. Um, and I, but I enjoyed it. And so I would, I would love to maybe do it again sometime, but I, I'm glad I jumped at this other. Well, it's funny you mentioned that uh, about the character because, uh, and this is coming from my mom. This is her question to you. She said, ask him if he is unpleasant, as unpleasant and un unfiltered as his character is in the, in the movie. <laughs> No, thankfully. Uh, I'm sure that I can be at some point, but um, I remember when I read the script thinking to myself, really? I have to, like my first time on camera is going to be the guy that no one kind of likes, you know, the guy that, that is just the like, shut that guy up kind of guy. Um, but it kind of challenged me to really get into that, that, that character, that persona. And when you're sitting at that table and you realize that's what I need to present. Um, I did. And, and it was pretty neat. It's funny to watch it back and, you know, and replay though. Cause I'm like, wow, that's me. <laughs> I know you're not, I know you're not un unpleasant like that. Uh, people that I know in, in the music business have met you before and always say wonderful things about you. All right. This movie, uh, true events, what, what met, you know, uh, you know, uh, impacted you most about knowing the story of this film? Well, I, I think, um, you know, I've dealt with uh, with kind of something suddenly coming upon myself and my family when my father got his cancer diagnosis, and it wasn't too far after that. I, after that, my, he was fine. He ended up doing okay. Uh, but when I read the script and I read the story that Matthew Teague wrote about his wife and how real it was, uh, and honest, and you know, with honesty and reality comes hurt, and comes also it comes pleasure and happiness and i think this whole story encompassed all of that and uh sometimes as you know with our music and even movies we see and entertainment these days there's a lot that kind of wants to take you away from reality and take you to a fantasy land and uh, i love that this movie brings everything to the forefront and most importantly makes you focus on what's friendship and love and care for others and uh that's what we all can i think use a little more of 